Hello everybody, this is Tekka. In this video, what I'm gonna be doing is answering some of your questions. In the last couple videos that I've uploaded, I've been getting a lot of comments talking about what wallpaper I'm using, what shell theme I'm using, the icon pack I'm using, uh, certain extensions, things like that. So there was enough questions about the appearance of my GNOME desktop overall. I'm deciding to make a whole video on it and quickly run over the things that I'm currently rocking. And the first thing that you are probably noticing here is I have dash to dock and this is dash to dock on GNOME 40. So if we go ahead and open this up, you can see I am currently running GNOME 40.4 and this is simply a uh, forked version of dash to dock made to work on GNOME 40. And overall it basically works. It like every once in a while there'll be an issue where like the top half of this dock will get cut off. And then if I do a quick little resize, it fixes it. And it's not really a fan of certain uh, GNOME shell themes. The theme I'm currently using though works fine with it and it is definitely a beautiful theme. If I go ahead and open up my folder here, you can see it's a very minimal, very light theme. I do believe it's based on paper, but it's a uh, Vimix. So if I go ahead and bring in my web browser here, this is the Vimix GitHub page. So you could go ahead and install it through here. You could go to gnomelook.org and install it there whatever you feel like doing. Here you can see some screenshots. I opted for this black version, but you have a, uh, or a uh, hybrid, or you could go completely dark. Personally, I like the uh, kind of the hybrid look with the white background, dark bars up here with the dark icons. I think that is a beautiful combination. Additionally, you have their icon theme here, which is based on the paper icon theme. So if I went right click, opened this in a uh, new tab, you can see the icon theme here and this right here is the one that I'm currently using. All this will be linked down below and this right here is my appearance panel. So you can see right now for applications I'm using the Vimix uh, Daughter, Duder, something like that. Uh, Vimix Black Dark, Vimix Black for the icons. Shell is Vimix uh, Duder, I think. Uh, one thing I'll demonstrate real quick is if I switch it over to Nordic Polar, which is what I was using, uh, this dash to dock down here just does not does not look good at all. If I right click on it and let's do the dash to dock settings, if I try to fix it, go into appearance, maybe use this icon, it still keeps those ugly corners. So th this uh, fork needs a little bit of work, but it, it will do the trick for now. I'll just switch back over to this and we are good to go. So that's a brief overview of the actual theming I have going on. And now what we're gonna do is talk about the extensions because these extensions truly complete this desktop that I have going here. Uh, I'm gonna quickly run through all of them. We have Blur My Shell, and a lot of these do have settings so you can customize it as you see fit. If I open up applications, you can see instead of that like ugly gray background behind our workspaces, it has a blurred, very blurred version of my background. That's Blur My Shell. Clipboard indicator is up here. It just keeps things in your clipboard. I'm not going to open it because I probably have like passwords copied and that I pasted somewhere, but it keeps, I think, 10 different entries, which is very nice. Uh, extensions list, which is just a handy little tool right here so I can see the extensions quickly through my actual shell. Uh, Gnome 40 improvements. This one is really nice because uh, you might have noticed my, this is a little bit different. I don't have that search bar there. The uh, workspace icons or switcher right here is a little bit bigger. It just changes some things to make it just a little bit cleaner. And you can open up settings and see some of the things that it actually modifies, such as height search, increased desktop thumbnail scale, things like that. Just a few extra little tweaks to help improve that. I have Google search provider. So if I go over here and I did uh, Tech Hut, for example, I could go ahead and search Tech Hut over on Google if I wanted to. We have open weather. So right here, gives me a, a little description of my weather. That's not default. You have to have it or customize it to say that. So if I go ahead, get rid of that, go over to, I believe it is uh, layout right here. You can enable the uh, conditions in the uh, panel, which will say like the sky is clear. It's smoky if you have wildfires everywhere like I do, or snowy, rainy, whatever. That is awesome. Quick click, I can see the weather for today, for tomorrow. Absolutely beautiful. Next, we have the places status indicator right here next to activities. It just adds places and it's kind of like a Mac OS feature, but it, it just works good. So I can quickly go to places, 
jump over to my pictures, and then right here I have all of my screenshots. So super easy to navigate the system in this. And it's cool because using these GNOME extensions, I have kind of grown out of just making it look like a traditional desktop mimicking KDE. I'm still using all the GNOME features and everything, but with just enough tweaks and changes to make it really nice. With that said, there is the screenshot tool, which is this little picture up here. If I go ahead and click on that, it says select area, select window, select desktop. Just saves a couple clicks from actually opening up that application. So I just go select area, grab a screenshot of this, and you can see we have a new screenshot here, copy, save it, do whatever I want to do. Uh, places, oh, we saw that, screenshot. So sound input chooser, this is an absolute must if you're on a GNOME desktop. This will let you to switch your input and output audio devices, a very important. Uh, system monitor, this is the one that I got a lot of questions about. I posted it on Twitter with a link. So if you're interested or you have a Twitter, uh, you can go ahead and follow me over there to get some of this stuff a little bit earlier. Uh, right here, this is the CPU, memory, net, and thermal. This thing's awesome. The uh, theming or the color scheming is not the best with Vimix. It makes the text a little too light for my preference. I generally don't actually open this or click on this to open this up. Right here, we could open up our system monitor if we would like to. Under preferences, you can really change a lot of what's going on. From the graph colors, uh, we can show in menu, show test text. So under CPU, if I deselect that, you can see the little CPU text goes away. So if you just remember what order they're in and you don't want that, you could set that. Change all the colors, uh, change what shows. So I can uh, display battery if this was actually a laptop. Fan, frequency, thermal is really important to me to have up there. But you could also do your GPU, disk, network. I have CPU, memory, network, and thermal. Those are the most important things to me. So that is a wonderful shell extension to go ahead and throw up on that top bar. Next, we have user themes. We kind of talked about that. That's going to enable you to change your shell theme within the GNOME tweak tool. And then down here, we have dash to dock, which it's in, under built-in because I had to install it manually by the GitHub repo and all that. I'll link to that if you're interested in trying this out on GNOME 40. And then additionally, we have the PAMAC updates indicator which this is also included because PAMAC is another thing I installed manually, so it's reading it as a built-in extension. And this is real nice. If I go over, where is it? Right here, this is the little uh, PAMAC updates indicator. If I click on that, you can see I have 32 updates available. I can open up the package manager, go over, and actually list out all the things I need to currently update. So that was just a quick video highlighting everything I got going on right now. Chances are it's going to change. If you do enjoy little theme, walkthrough, extensions, uh, customization videos like this, please let me know down below. And with all that said, I would like to thank our YouTube members and Patreon supporters. We have Mitchell Valentino, Phil Mac, Kyle, and Timo Anthony. You guys are some of the top tier Patreon supporters. I do appreciate you very much for that. And big thank you to all the other Techie and Techie Plus members. Uh, one thing, if you made it all the way to the end of this video, I'm not really officially launching this yet, but if you go over to form.techa.tv, this is the beta version of our forms. I'm going to be posting the links here. Um, so you can go ahead and check it out if you want to. There's a lot of things that are still broken. You can see Techa community, null. None of these work. This was just a little add-on. Uh, but you could go ahead and create an account. So far, the only login integration that I have is Twitter at the moment, but you could do it through Git. Uh, you will soon be able to do it through GitHub and things like that. So go ahead, jump on over. It's in beta, so I might need to remove things. I might need to remove categories, stuff like that. Just something to note when I'm eventually going to be launching it probably in like two weeks or so officially. So just a little early preview if you're interested. With all that said, I do hope you have an absolutely beautiful day and goodbye.